Happy Sunday afternoon, everyone. I'm just finishing up a little um, casting and uh, trying out a couple of new molds I just made uh, last night. Um, a little disappointed. I had uh, my first mold failure. Um, so I guess I can't complain. It's been, I probably made 60, 70 molds. And this is the first time I've had an issue, uh, but this is the issue that I ended up with. Um, I actually was trying a couple of the young ladies here for uh, the, the Joe line of the, the nurse and the helicopter pilot. And uh, she broke from her support and floated to the top. She was covered uh, with a little layer of um, silicone, but I peeled it off. But as you can see, it's just a half a head, and there's the there's the base that was supposed to be holding her down. Yeah, so that's wasted wasted silicone. Yeah. Unless somebody wanted to have a face molded, which chances are no. Um, but I am pretty pleased with this one. Uh, this one is a, a nice one. I hadn't done this guy before. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop him out. Uh, I did one earlier, uh, and I was pretty pleased with the, the way that it, the mold worked. Uh, came out very nice. And this one, this one looks as good as that one. It's uh, Chip Hazard from Small Soldiers. Um, I'm a fan of the, of the, of this particular head sculpt. I saw someone mention him the other day on uh, one of the Facebook websites. So I went ahead and picked up uh, one of the figures. Um, I got them for a pretty reasonable price. They're not super expensive, but um, they do have a unique design. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm going to uh, do some kind of uh, muscle-bound intruder or some other uh, space uh, alien uh, to be a nemesis for the G.I. Joe figure. It's really, it really is actually a pretty nice figure. I, I'm not a fan of these particular legs with the, with the locked knees that, uh, that snap as, as you move them. Um, but it's not, it's not a terrible figure. And scale wise for the Joes, he does he does make a pretty pretty good um, muscle bound um, nemesis I guess would be the good term for it uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a little something with him I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with him but um, yeah he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be a cool dude uh, some sort of uh, nemesis um, but the head itself Actually, is pretty nice. Um, it's gonna need a little work around the neck uh, to make it fit with a with a Joe figure on a Joe figure, I should say. Um, you can see, gonna need to take a little more care with the bubbles. It does seem to hold some some bubbles in some different places. I'll figure it out as I go. Uh, but these are these are definitely usable. I'll go ahead and. Uh, paint them up and make something interesting from that uh, the next one let's try this let's try this one this one uh, I tried earlier and got a uh, semi usable head from it um, not sure Not sure how it's going to come out. Still working on it. <clears throat> it's wanting to fight. Oh, I did a ton of work on the tractor yesterday and a little tired today, so I don't have the strength in my hands. I'm going to put that one there. Oh. Neck post. I try to cast a neck post when I do the the heads so that they match uh, 
when it's uh, time to mount them, the, the tone of the color is the same. So let's let's try this one more time. Come on now. Oh. This is not good. Don't fight it. Fight the more. Eh, push it out. Hopefully it's worth the aggravation. Oof. And uh, yeah, perfect. There she is. So she'll paint up real nice. That's uh, the first of the ladies. I'm not sure how many of those I'm gonna actually make. Uh, Cause wow, did that fight me on the way out. Uh, but I do have a body uh, that I'm gonna try to put this on. Um, and, uh, I'll paint her, I'll paint her up, uh, to match. I do like the head sculpt and uh, this one, I'll go ahead and use up the last bit of my, uh, my silicone, uh, for this season, uh, to make a new mold of that, just to get a good one out of it. And I'll make a few of that, that one as well. Anyways, uh, that's the plan for the day and a couple of couple of good ones, a couple of iffy ones, and uh, one, one failure. Um, but overall, uh, not, a, not a terrible day casting. Okay, one, one last little bit here. Um, this is a little experiment uh, with the resin. Not really uh, meant for this particular purpose, but I tried to cast a hollow head. Uh, with a little bit of the leftover resin that I had from the the other folks and uh, um, actually it doesn't look too terrible maybe a little thin in the neck area uh, but for a hollow head he's actually not too not too shabby this is agent faces um, I think I think maybe Maybe I'll try another one just for the heck of it. When I cast this this one, I'll try another one uh, and see if I can get a good uh, get a good hollow cast. I'd like to I'd like to start to transition my molds uh, from uh, solid castings down to the hollow style. Uh, save some weight, save some resin, and. Uh, be able to hopefully get it to where I can actually fit it on the standard uh, standard issue vintage style or, or Cotswold style neck peg without having to cast a new peg and use the magnetic mount. Some guys have said they don't particularly care. It's kind of heavy. Uh, they don't particularly care for that magnetic mount. Personally, my personal opinion is I like it. Um, I like to be able to switch around heads, one on, one off. Um, they're true. It is. It is a little heavy, but I'm. I'm okay with that. Uh, as long as the figure still stands, it's not too heavy. So, anyways, there it is. A couple of interesting projects for the day, and uh, thanks for stopping by.